Hi guys, so this is Let's Make and today I'm going to make a filament uh, sensor. So if you're anything like me, you've got your 3D printers and they're always on and you leave the room for whatever reason, you don't want to run out of filament in midway. That's the worst thing ever, especially after like a 10 hour print. You have to redo the whole thing, it's horrible. Uh, some of the more expensive printers, you know you've got these um, bigger ones, cost more, they come with these sensors built in, which is quite cool. Uh, but if you can't afford to get these, obviously you want a cheap solution. You can get some off Amazon, like 20 quid, but again, it's so much more fun when you get to build them yourself. So I've made a simple design. Basically, we've got the filament, which will go through this tube here. Uh, we've got a simple switch on it. Uh, when it's closed with the, against the pressure of the filament, it's off. As soon as that opens, we know that the filament's gone. And this is where we set off a buzzer. We've got another switch on so I can turn it on and off. So as soon as the buzzer goes off, I can temporarily turn it off. Uh, instead of having it going, the buzzer just keep going, which will be horrible to listen to. So for the circuit diagram, it's quite simple. We just have a battery here and two switches and a buzzer. So yeah, I'm going to make this. Uh, it shouldn't cost too much since I'm going to be printing it. And the electronics is just a battery, buzzer, two switches, you can get, get these off fans in quite cheap, cheaply, so yeah. Okay, so I'm um, finished making it. Uh, I went through two testers to do this. So the first one was this size. It's um, a bit small though. As you can see, it's quite cramped in this way. Uh, the electronics was a bit getting too close together. Um, so that was a bad design. Uh, I also made the hole way too small for the filament. Uh, so yeah, that's failed. Second one um, was just literally testing it so that I could make sure the hole's big enough. This time it's a lot bigger. You can see there. And then I did the full print, making sure it all worked and wired it up. So this is the final product. It's quite simple. We've got the battery here. Uh, first switch, turn it on and off. Uh, second one is the little um, roller switch. And then we've got the buzzer. I've also added a charging module inside here so then I don't have to take battery out to charge it I can just plug it the cable in straight away uh, it's just a micro USB so it's quite simple um, 
Anyway, if it's on, I've forgotten which way it's on now. That way it's on. So, say this is on now, and the filament's coming through, and then as soon as it triggers it, I now know that there is low on filament. So this is just going to stick to the back of my delta printer, uh, so around here, uh, with the filament going through, and that will just go on and off. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's a pretty simple design. Uh, you can find this all on my instructables, and subscribe and like to see more videos. So yeah, see you guys.